I see your point. What if I tell you a jailhouse story? You stay there? All right. I'll stay a while. All right. The man says all right. Okay. Here go my jailhouse story. Is it a true story? Oh, yeah. It's a true story. I don't know no other kind. One day, I'm in the chow line. I'm getting my chow. When the nigga in the line behind me gets into it with the server, said the beans is cold. So he throws the ladle down in the bean. Well, when he done that, there was beans splashed up on me. Well, I didn't want to get into it over no beans, but it did kind of piss me off some. I just put on a clean uniform, you know, khakis, shirt, trousers. You don't know, get but two a week. So I said something to him, like, hey, man, watch it, or something like that. But I went on. I told myself, just let it go. Just let it go. But then the nigga said something. So I turned back, and when I done that, he stuck a knife in me. I ain't even see it coming. Blood just flying everywhere. This wasn't no jailhouse shiv, neither. This was one of them Italian switchblades, one of them black and silver jobs. Well, I ain't do a thing but duck and step back under the rail. And I reached out and I got hold to this table leg. And it come off in my hand just as easy. Had this long screw sticking out the end of it. And I went to wailing on that nigga's head. And I ain't quit. I ain't quit till you couldn't tell it was a head no more. That screw was sticking his head. And I had to put my foot on it and pull it out. What'd he say? What'd he say? I mean, in the line, what'd he say? I ain't gonna repeat it. That doesn't seem fair. Don't seem fair. No. Uh, here I am telling you a bona fide blood and guts tale from the big house, the genuine article, and I can't get you to fill in the blanks by what the nigga said? Do you have to use that word? Use that word? Yes. We ain't making much progress here, is we? It just seems unnecessary. You don't want to hear nigga, but you about to bail on me because I won't tell you some ugly shit the nigga said? Is you sure about this? I just don't see why you have to use that word. This my story, ain't it? Anyway, I don't remember there being no African Americans or people of color in there. To my recollection, there was only a bunch of niggas. Go ahead. Now, at some point, I must have pulled the knife out and, and dropped it on the floor somewhere. Meanwhile, I'm still wailing on this nigga's head. But his friend has got a hold of me from behind, but I got one hand on the rail, so I ain't going nowhere. But what I don't know is that this dude must have picked up the knife, and he's trying to gut me. I felt the blood. I turned around, and I bust him in the head, and he went skidding off across the floor. And by now, somebody didn't push the button, and the alarm is going. Everybody's down on the floor, and we in lockdown. The guard up on the rail, he got his shotgun pointed at me, and he's hollering, You! Get on the floor! Drop the weapon! He about to shoot me when the lieutenant tells him, Hold your fire! You! Throw down that club! I looked around, and I was the only one standing. I seen the nigga's feet sticking out from under the counter where he done crawl. So, I throwed the thing down. I don't remember much after that. They, uh, they told me I had lost almost half my blood. I remember slipping around in it, but I thought it was the other dude. Did the man die? No. He didn't. <sighs> Everybody lived. They thought he was dead, but he wasn't. He wasn't right after that. So I ain't really had no more trouble out of him. He walked around with his head kind of to the side, lost one eye, arms hanging down. Didn't talk right. They shifted.